Hello and welcome to the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider of the Memphis Tiger Network. I'm Jeff Frywood alongside Sean Burdett and Coach. Teams having fun. You, you just keep moving along right now and they have carried the momentum from the first and second week and uh, I guess it's kind of surreal just in your second year. Uh, you know, three weekends, you got a long season ahead of you, but it's got to be yeah. fun being one of the few teams still undefeated. Well, I think it's uh, you know certainly something they worked hard towards, and it's not something that just comes by luck. It's something that they're doing every day in practice and working for. And, you know, the, the record piece of it, you know, it's luckily come together for us, uh, but we're taking one match at a time. You had some challenges at, at SIU. In fact, had your first five-set match of the season. Yeah, we, we were up 2-0 and then maybe kind of let off the gas a little bit. But credit to SIU, they came in and they continued to fight all the way through the match and found themselves uh, winning the third and fourth set. And then we were in a fifth set uh, battle that we were able to kind of take control and really get out ahead early and play from in front. That was probably, I mean, good from a coaching standpoint for you. You want to win all the matches, and it's great if you if it's three and zero all the time, and you get clean sweeps. But to see the team face some adversity for the first time. Yeah, and we, you know we we found ourselves down in sets and having to fight back, and we don't want to put ourselves in that position certainly. Uh, and we we talk about that, and you know wanting to play from in front, but you know you you're going to have to face different situations, whether it's our last non-conference uh, tournament this weekend or moving forward next week into conference play. There's going to be a lot of challenges ahead. How do you balance the situation right now? You want them to have fun, and especially for for some of the players that have been here for more than a year. It's, mm -hmm. it's got to be fun to see them have some success, have some fun out here right now, but also probably you want to, as a coach, you're probably wanting to temper it a little bit because you've not even gotten a conference season. Yeah, and, and we really don't talk about the record. Yeah. We just talk about what's in front of us and really trying to secure that next match and mm -hmm. that next victory and I think just again kind of composing things into mini segments or mini seasons and really looking at each weekend by itself and then really pushing forward from there you know after we get through this weekend we'll flip the script and kind of you know look towards the the first weekend of conference play next week. Well it's an, it is a nice nugget at the end of the season the 9-0 start the second best in school history. Hannah gets MVP of the tournament you also got Andrew and Caitlin on the all tournament team. Yeah, I mean, you know, Hannah really just carried a, another great load for us in terms of kills and block setup, and obviously her serve uh, yeah. at the service line has been very good. Whether that's a direct ace or you know putting other teams out of system, they've had to handle that. And you know, then we had some great uh, bench play and people coming off the bench as well. Andrea Palmer came in for us uh, against IUPUI and ended up with the uh, winning. Uh, ace to, to seal the match for us, but you know to be able to get different people on all tournament teams and have other coaches recognize mm -hmm. that, I think that's one of the, the neat things throughout this short season so far. Back home this weekend for the Bill Street Challenge, who all is going to be coming for that? Well, we've got uh, North Alabama at 10 a.m. on Friday, and then we play Toledo on Friday evening at 7, and then turn around against Southeast Missouri on uh, Saturday afternoon at 1 o'clock. And would love to get more fans out there. Had a great home showing last time uh, a week and a half ago, and you know look forward to having more people out and following us. From what I understand, you've got some good promotions on Friday. Number one, and it's one of the most fun because I've seen it for volleyball and women's basketball, is the campus school right there yeah. next to the El Maron. They're coming over. You'll have a bunch of screaming kids for the entire match. That's always a lot of fun. It, it is fantastic when you get a couple hundred of them in there and they just want to see excitement and play. And, you know, it's tough in these tournaments, especially early in the morning and midday matches where there's not a lot of fans out there because people are working. So to be able to have that creativity and bring people in to fill the stands is something that marketing has worked really hard at. I don't know what all going into it Friday night, but I heard it's kind of like raid the Rhone. They're going to play off that big uh, Area 51 raid. So who knows <laughs> what you're going to see when, when you're out there Friday night. Yeah, we, we, we want to get a lot of people out again. And I, and I think, you know, getting the student support is, is great. And, and we had that last time on a Friday evening. So looking forward to it. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. John Burdett. I'm Jeff Brightwell with the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider on the Memphis Tiger Network.